The Indian almond tree or talisay tree is planted almost anywhere you look at since its main purpose is to provide people with shade from the sun. And so, very good news for us fish hobbyists. In the fish keeping world, many of us use catapa leaves in our tanks because of the numerous benefits these leaves give to our fishes. A little reminder though, not all aquarium fish benefit from dried catapa leaves, so it is always a good idea to do your research. Also, when using dried catapa leaves or black water extract in the tank, it is normal that the color of the water would change into a darker color. Normally, the water would become yellowish or brownish or a little lighter than coffee. So unless you do not mind the discoloration, the benefits of using dried catapa leaves in your fish tanks will surely make your fish happier and fish keeping more enjoyable. So what are the species of fish that benefit from catapa leaf extract? For beta owners and breeders alike, the catapa leaf is a natural medication for injuries, an antibacterial agent, and also induces spawning. It also allows beta owners to condition their fish in preparation for a fight. Similarly, angelfish owners use catapa leaf extract to condition their tank water, especially during breeding season. The catapa leaf also acts as medication when their angelfish are suffering from disease or injuries due to fights and promotes better appetite. However, those are not the only benefits that angelfish owners get from catapa leaves. Like me, I use catapa leaves in my angelfish tank to give it a natural look since the tannin the leaf produces mimics the color of the water in their natural environment. In fact, I even put pieces of catapa leaves in my angel fish tank for a more natural look. As for some discus owners, and as we probably all know, discus fish has its own requirements when talking about water quality. In the wild, these fish prefer soft and acidic water, and this is where catapa leaves do their job. While captive bred discus are more tolerant of water from the faucet or stock water, the catapa leaves still absorb added minerals from the tap, then replace them with tannins, thus mimicking the home or natural water of this species. Now talking from experience, when I used catapa extract with my discus tank, I noticed an improvement in their coloration, appetite, and shape. I also noticed that they started to pair up and eventually the established pairs spawned. Now, for arowana enthusiasts, some of us use catapa leaves since, like other fish, these leaves are believed to be beneficial in several ways to our arowanas. The first benefit is that it helps lower the pH level in our tanks. One of the problems that arowana owners encounter is fluctuating or high pH level. So, using catapa can help lower the pH of our tanks, making the water soft and acidic, which arowanas enjoy. And, when dosed regularly with the same amount or the same number of leaves in the tank, the catapa can maintain the pH of our tanks at constant level. Next is that catapa helps in the recovery process which results from injuries. I have been keeping my arowanas in one tank and at present, my main tank houses three super reds and two albino silvers. My 5x2x2 five by two by two tank has my pair which spawned a couple of months ago while my 4x2x2 by two by two houses my newly established crossback pair. And so, fights are inevitable. I use catapa leaves to help my arowanas recover from injuries and to somewhat reduce their stress level during the recovery period. 
The third benefit is that katapa acts as an antibacterial agent. When recovering from injuries, whether caused by fights or as part of the spawning process, we know that aside from visible breakage on the fins and tails of our arowanas, their immune system gets low too because of the stress induced by the injuries they sustained. And so, at this stage, the katapa leaves, known as the poor man's antibacterial medicine, serves as an agent that helps prevent our fish from acquiring bacterial infections, which they are highly exposed to during the period of recovery. Another benefit is that katapa helps boost the arowana's appetite. Again, talking from experience, one thing I noticed when I started using katapa leaves was that my arowana's appetite increased. Whenever they felt that it was feeding time, they raced into the spot where I used to give them food. Even those that were at the losing end of a fight or the ones that were recovering from injuries, which, as we all know, would normally resist food, would hustle for possession just to get their meal. Lastly, katapa helps with the color development of arowanas. From my observation again, the katapa leaves helped in developing the color of my arowanas. Reds and golds alike, I noticed that when I used katapa or black water extract on my tanks, the colors of my red and gold arowanas gradually improved. Maybe due to the fact that they are provided with better water quality, which I feel contributed in the overall well-being of my fish. Thus, pushing their potential further into showing their beauty. So now that we have already discussed the benefits of using katapa leaves or extract for arowanas, let us now talk about how katapa is prepared. But before we jump into the preparation of katapa leaves or black water extract, let us first talk about the amount or the number of dried katapa leaves that we should use for our tanks. My personal dose for this is one big katapa leaf for every 30 gallons of tank water or two small sized katapa leaves for every 30 gallons of water. When using katapa extract or black water extract, and to give you an idea, my main tank is 327 gallons with a 93 gallon sump which has the total water volume of 420 gallons, so I use one gallon of katapa extract for it. With my 150 gallon tank, I dose it with one and a half liters of katapa extract, and for my 4 by 2 by 2 tank, which is 120 gallons, I dose it with a liter of katapa extract. So now, let us discuss how the dried katapa leaves are used in the aquarium. The very first thing to do is to thoroughly wash each leaf so as to remove dirt. Remember that you are using dried katapa leaves, so most probably you pick them from the ground where people might have stepped on, or maybe you got them from the city street where pollution is very common. So, it is always best to clean the dried katapa leaves first before using them in your fish tanks. Alright, the first thing is by using a tea bag or a net bag. What many hobbyists do is to place some dried katapa leaves in a tea bag or a net bag and place the bag in one of the chambers of their sump. This method is preferred by many since this process would allow the dried katapa leaves to release tannins gradually into the tank. Also, since the bag with katapa leaves is hidden in the sump, eyesore would not be an issue. Another method is by placing several dried katapa leaves in a container. For others who do not have the luxury of a sump, and having a bag full of dried leaves in the tank is an issue, Putting some dried katapa leaves in a container and waiting for the dried leaves to release tannins for several days is a more preferred approach. 
This process normally takes several days to a week before the extract is ready to be used. Once ready, they simply pour the black water extract into the tank. The next is boiling the catapa leaves. This method is not suggested by many since they believe that during the process of boiling, some nutrients from the catapa leaves are released into the air, thus defeating the purpose of using black water extract. On the other hand, there are those who still prefer this method since it is the fastest way of producing black water extract. They normally boil several pieces of dried catapa leaves for 30 to 45 minutes and let it cool down for a couple of hours before pouring the extract into their tanks. I personally do this myself since it has become my routine that every time I do a partial water change, I would dose my tanks with black water extract. Although my approach is rather different. To make both ends meet, what I do is a combination of the first two processes. Using a jar, I put in a number of dried catapa leaves at the bottom of it, then I pour in hot water into the jar and let it sit overnight. This way, I am able to make my extract faster at the same time would not lose a significant amount of nutrients. I usually prepare my extract a day before my scheduled water change. I do this to make sure that the dried leaves have already released tannins into the water and the extract has already cooled down so it would not alter with the tank temperature anymore. But to be assured that I get full benefits of the dried catapa leaves, I also place the dried leaves I used in producing the extract in a net bag, then put the bag in one of the chambers of my sump. So there you have it guys. I hope that you found the video informative and please stay tuned for more videos only here on my channel. Bye for now.